the world is not doing well. Sometimes it even seems ready to collapse. Pollution, poverty, climate change, biodiversity loss, overfishing of the seas. How can this be? Are humans too stupid to preserve our habitat? Or just too greedy? Of course, all these problems have many different causes and can't be explained easily. But there is one cause that plays a role in all. There are more and more people who consume and produce more and more stuff. This is already a big problem. The resources on Earth are limited after all. But there's more. Consumers don't pay the true cost of the goods they consume. Prices are in fact not the same as costs. That sounds strange. So let's take a look, for example, at product X. To buy product X, you only pay 100 euro in the shop. A real bargain. The manufacturer calculates this price as follows. The raw materials for the product are mined in an African country and cost 25 euro. Labor costs for the workers who assemble it in Southeast Asia amount to 20 euro. The energy for the production costs 10 euro. Transportation from the factory to the store costs 5 euro. The company adds business expenses of 20 euro for things like office overhead and advertising. And the company wants to make money too. So let's add another 20 euro for profit. Add these costs together and it's clear why the customer has to pay 100 euro in the shop. But this is where things get interesting. The price of 100 euro does not correspond to the true cost of product X. The production chain actually includes some hidden costs not reflected in our calculation. A very simplified example. In mining the raw materials, chemicals leak into a nearby lake. There, they kill the fish, resulting in losses in biodiversity and income for local fishermen. This adds costs of three euro to product X. The workers in the factory have little protective clothing and are forced to work long hours. Some children work in the factory too. The costs arisen from illness among the workers and the economic loss due to lack of education is six euro. The electricity required for production leads to increased carbon dioxide emissions at the plant. This contributes to climate change. The resulting costs of extreme weather phenomena and for coastal protection amounted to four euro. Carbon dioxide was also emitted during transport. In addition, the truck emitted dust, noise, and increased congestion. Highways are strained 100,000 times more by trucks than by cars, which means more maintenance is needed. The cost of additional health care, road maintenance, and the time lost in traffic jams is four euro. And finally, sooner or later, Product X gets broken or outdated and thrown away. Recycling or disposal costs another four euro. Adding everything together, the real cost of Product X is 121 euro. But neither the producer nor the consumer pays the difference of 21 euro. They are simply passed on to others. Economists call this negative externalities or hidden costs. But who pays these extra costs then? It depends. For example, the workers in the mine and factory suffer loss of income due to illness or accidents. Taxpayers have to pay for increased road maintenance and repair, even those who rarely drive themselves. A particularly large part of the hidden costs is simply passed on to future generations. So to say our children and their children and their children and their children and their children, this is especially evident in the costly consequences of climate change. Hidden costs raise several problems. They create an incentive for higher consumption, and they reduce incentives to use goods for a long time and to repair and recycle them. Considering this on a global scale, it becomes clear. Hidden costs are a major reason for the problems we mentioned at the beginning of the video. So, it's time to do something. There are already some approaches to put hidden costs back into product prices. Often though, this only happens in a certain area. Organic agriculture is an attempt to integrate hidden costs for the use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Fair trade products compensate for poor wages and working conditions. Most travel agencies offer the option to offset travel-related carbon dioxide emissions. Emissions trading tries to internalize carbon dioxide emissions in industrial production. And maybe it's time for a certificate for products without any hidden costs. 
We let our consumption today be paid for by people in poor countries and our children. This is unfair and short-sighted. We need to understand that we have a responsibility as consumers for our environment and for other people here and around the world.